This is a follow-up video on the Alec World video I posted yesterday where I mentioned that Alec World foam parts wholesaler are selling our videos. They are taking our videos, modifying our videos, changing the music of the videos. They have their logo on the video and they're not giving credit to the owner of the video, which is myself. This is the video in case you have not watched it. And we got a lot of people that got involved and a lot of people were angry. And I even posted a link to one of our videos that they posted on their Instagram account. Now, after I posted this video, five minutes later, this video was no longer on their Instagram account. Somebody else posted in the comments that they have other videos of you. It's about four or five videos. They took, they modified, they added their logo. They did not reference the owner of the video and they just posted the video on their Instagram account. Uh, link by joke, let me check what this one is. Oh, so he chatted with them. Stop stealing videos from Northridge Fix. I do not know. Thank you, let me know which video. I will delete them. Okay, let's go back to the post here. I want to thank each and every one of you who reported our videos on their Instagram account. After maybe 10, 20 minutes, all the videos that were on their Instagram account were deleted, were gone. I do not know if Instagram is the one who removed the videos or if they deleted the videos. But uh, to my surprise this morning, a lot of people mentioned that their Instagram account is also closed. I do not know if the company actually turned off their page so people do not report their page or if Instagram is the one who deleted their page. I do not know. Now, it was not my intention for their page to close down. My intention was in the video I mentioned, click on our videos on their Instagram page and let them know that what they are doing is wrong and report the videos. So those videos can be taken off. The videos were taken off, but their account was also taken down. And now, one thing I failed to mention is in May, a couple of people sent us a message on Facebook and they told us that Alec World is stealing your videos. Now, what I did back in May is I sent Alec World an email. I did not immediately post a video and made it public. I sent Alec World an email in May. I'm going to show you the email. Alec World, right there. So, as you can see, I did send them an email on May 14 at 2.49 a.m. At that time, I was editing a video. I posted the video and I sent them an email before I went to sleep. And that's what the email said. It was brought to our attention by our YouTube viewers that you are using our videos on your Instagram account without our consent. And I posted the link. You also edited the video and you have your name logo over it. You're not allowed to do that. You need to either link to our YouTube channel to indicate the video was taken from us without editing the video or remove the video completely. Take action as soon as possible before it becomes a YouTube hit. It doesn't look good for your reputation. That's what I told them. I sent them a friendly email telling them that if you want to keep the video, make sure you do not edit the video and you reference the person who did that video. You link back to our channel. If you do not want to do that, then you should remove the video off your Instagram account. I know they're not going to answer, so I just gave them a little warning. If you do not do it, then it's going to become a YouTube hit. That's what I told them. May, June, July, August. I mean, three months, four months, three, four months since I sent the email, I gave them enough time. But now recently, when more people commented about Alec World stealing our videos, I decided to make a video because I sent them an email three months ago and the email was sent to service at alecworld.com. That's the email that they have on their page. So there is no way that they did not see our email because that's the main email that they use. It's the email that they post on their website, service at alecworld.com. They just ignored our email. A lot of people in the comments said, why don't you sue them? It's not very easy to sue somebody in China. Uh, you're going to be spending a lot of money and for what? I'm not losing anything by them using my video. It's about ethics. You want to use a video, you mention who that video is for. You link back to the other person's channel. And like I said in the video that I did, if they linked back to our channel, I would not have said anything. Just give credit to the person who did the video. It's about ethics. I'm not losing anything by them using our videos. But I sent them an email. They ignored our email for three months. So after three months, more people commented about Alec World stealing our videos. And now I decided to make a video to let everybody know what's going on. I mean, this morning I came to the shop and I found a voice message from them. They left a voice message which was translated to text. Let me show it to you quick. I would like to speak with Jose. There is no Jose here. Maybe Google did not know how to translate what they said. Anyway, I am William from China. 
I am the sales manager of probably Alec World. I have saw the videos, uh, I saw the videos, person who posted on YouTube about uh, one of our employees use your videos. So now the guy is saying that one of his employees used our videos and posted our videos on their Instagram account and he had no knowledge of this. We are very sorry for the management because if you check our official YouTube app, Instagram and Twitter, we are using our own style videos. But let's talk about how to solve this problem. We are honest and we are going to solve this with our security. So I'm looking forward to call you back, blah, blah, blah. So now the guy is trying to call back to fix the damage that was done. Where were you when I sent an email in May? You did not even take a few minutes of your time to post a link where that video was taken from. You cannot edit a video and put your logo on it and change the music. We have viewers that know our work. And I'm very, very grateful to everybody who reported our videos being on their channel. Again, it was not my intention for their Instagram account to go down. I do not like to do harm to anybody. Even sometimes I buy stuff off eBay and it's not as described. I do not go and leave a bad feedback because I do not want to hurt his reputation. Let me email him. If the guy was relentless or the guy was rude or he does not want to fix the problem, then maybe I can leave the guy a bad review. But I do not like to hurt anybody's business. I do not like to hurt anybody's reputation. I do not want to hurt anybody's income. But those people, I did send them an email. Three month period, they did not do anything about the email. Now they are stealing more videos. We had to put an end to this and that's why I made the video. Now their Instagram account is gone, the videos are gone, and somebody pointed out that they have other accounts on Instagram. It doesn't matter, as long as our videos are not there, I'm okay with it. So I just want to make things clear that I did try to reach out to them in May with no response. And now that the damage is done, now they call back and they want to solve the problem. I do not have anything against Alec World, but that's a bad behavior. That's a bad practice. I want to go over some of the comments quick. Let me click on this link and on their main Instagram account. And as you can see, sorry, the page isn't available and their main Instagram account, the same. They removed the video. I remember seeing a video from their Instagram a few months ago and thought to myself, this repair looks familiar. Now it makes sense. I wrote you this on Facebook and you did not reply a long time ago. I did see your message and I did send them an email, May 14th. I did send them an email because of your message. I will report their profile. Just complain in some legal way. It's really very difficult to take legal action when a company is not in the US. I'm not losing any money by them using our videos. It's all about ethics and what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. I did it the friendly way where I emailed them first. They did not respond. They kept stealing more videos and I took action by posting a video. I mean, look at the power of YouTube. Look at the power of having loyal viewers. Looks like the account has been deleted off Instagram. Sue them. Assuming they are keeping a close look on your channel, they will very likely see the video. That's what probably happened. The video looked extra familiar. I couldn't find your account. So I hashtag Northridge Fix. If someone are following your work, you can tell who is real and who is fake. So that's it. I just wanted to follow up on what is going on. Three, four months ago, they did not do anything about it and they kept sealing our videos. So I had to stop the company somehow. That's why I posted the video. Now the company called us, they left us a message, and you read what they said. They want to solve the problem. How should we solve this problem? Should I keep the video? Should I remove the video? Should we be compensated for what happened? Let me know. I would like to hear your thoughts. Let me know.